hardest puncher in the sport. Um, and you, you said to be at one point that nobody in the division could handle you. That was before you fought with Drazen. Would a Lomachenko be a dream fight? Would you want that fight? Um, how far away do you, do you see that happening? And how far away would you be talent-wise and ability-wise from winning that fight in dramatic fashion? Um, I believe that the Lomachenko will happen eventually just at the right time. You know, um, I believe that Lomachenko, not to uh, say that I'm a bad uh, fighter, but Lomachenko's still fighting at MGM, that whole 3400. You know, we look at the fight people that's bringing a lot more than 3400. You know, just to Lomachenko, um, he's a great fighter. Um, and down the road, we, we will meet. If not, my coach still will be. How's that fight going? <laughs> I'll be on top. I believe that. Now, Jack, you have kind of like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type of personality. We see you, you're smiling, jamming to music. But I talked to some of your sparring partners, and when you get in that ring, you turn on the, the animal. So. How do you balance the, the two, where you're like cool, calm, and collected, but then when you get in the ring, I talked to Jose Vargas and different people that sparred you, and they said it was some work. So how do you make that switch? Every time I step into the ring, it's kill or be killed. You know, um, we in a business where um, it's, you're not fighting, well, I'm not in the ring. It just show it just show what I've been through and coming up. Me, you know, just being a, you know, uh, to release it in a good way, you know, in the sport that I love, you know, so it's out of that or back into the shoot, so that's why I bring my emotion to into the ring.